Hi, I'm Mark Pellington. You're watching Trailers from Hell. Today is feature, The Courtship of Eddie's Father. One of my favorite films, but not one of my favorite TV shows. Swirling in. The Courtship of Eddie's Father, I did not, I remember watching the TV series with Bill Bixby and Brandon Cruz. I did not watch this film until after I became a widower myself. And uh, it was an unfortunate set of circumstances that led me to this. But when I watched the film, I realized how true it rang to, uh, on certain levels, having a child myself, yet also was just flabbergasted by how quickly Glenn Ford started dating again. And, uh, but really was touched by Ron Howard's performance. The trailer, on the other hand, is one of the most sexist uh, chauvinistic and probably for the era accurate depictions of you know the male uh, the male hunter out in the world and here's his prey with uh, Dina Merrill, Stella Stevens and Shirley Jones. When you watch the film it's funny the trailer really gives you the idea that it's his choice of these three women and it's really um, when you watch the film it's really all about Shirley Jones and you kind of know miles ahead uh, who he's going to choose. Stella Stevens isn't really an option. Um, but I found the dailiness of the movie uh, to be really interesting and uh, how emotionally constricted uh, he was in terms of dealing with uh, his grief. So that's why when I looked at the list of movies I thought that this was uh, kind of appropriate. And it's just it's kind of a gag. It's not one of those um, movies that comes across as campy because it is really kind of grounded in realism. And Ron Howard is just fantastic in it. Um, this trailer, amongst many others, feels so static and of the movies of the time, less manipulated. And I know that that's probably a big thing that um, you know people have commented on these trailers, but I just found how presentational and straightforward it was yet seeing some of these techniques of these wipes and slides still prevalent today and even going through in the um, promotion of my film that's coming out this summer their reliance on some of these same techniques to push the comedic aspects of the movie um you know the sliding type and stuff like that always still about stars and uh i actually found that this movie you know was selling a feel-good kind of guy choosing amongst the girls and uh, fairly, fairly captured the tone of it. Mm -hmm.